Hey, how's it going everybody? I decided to make this quick video on the California bar exam. I took it a couple of days ago, so everything was fresh in my mind and I decided to share part of my story. So I'm guessing you're watching this video because you're curious what the bar exam is like. Maybe you've taken it before and just wanna see if other people are in the same misery as you. Maybe you've never taken it and you're just curious on what the California bar exam is like. Let's get right into it. Just for the cost alone, it definitely adds up. To register for the bar, you first have to register as a student with the California State Bar. That application costs about $100. Then you have to register for the bar exam, which is about $700. And on top of that, if you decide that you want to take the bar exam on a laptop, like most people do, that's going to be another $133 on top of the everything. So now that the costs are in the way, you might be wondering how the process actually works after you register. So I registered on October 1st. That's when everything opened for the February bar exam. I had to wait about two and a half months. So around mid-December, I found out that my application got approved, which was bittersweet because on one hand, it meant I was one step closer to my dream. But on the other hand, it meant that I actually had to take the exam and suffer through bar study. So my application got approved in mid-December, like I said, and they told us that tickets would be released within eight weeks from the bar exam. And so I waited around, I waited around, and I actually looked online, saw what other people were um, thinking and wondering about um, regarding the tickets because time was moving by pretty fast and it was already within eight weeks of the bar exam. Um, actually, I think it was about eight weeks within the bar exam, one week after they had already accepted my application. So I was expecting the tickets pretty soon, but I waited around and it never came. And like I said, I looked online to see what other people were thinking. And it seemed like everybody was a bit stressed out about where these tickets were, especially laptop takers, because they need their admission ticket to apply and register their laptop for the exam to make sure that it's perfectly um, compatible with um, the program they use, which is Exemplify, which might be um, something you guys used in law school like I did. So you would already be familiar with it, but you have to re-download everything and whatnot just to take the bar exam on Exemplify. So about four weeks before the exam, so late January, the tickets finally released I actually had to um, message the California State Bar and ask where the tickets were and they said they were gonna be working on them soon and get them to everybody. Um, so about four weeks before the bar exam, they finally sent them out. Um, registering a laptop was actually not very difficult, especially if you used Exemplify before. So basically they told you the instructions, you re-downloaded Exemplify, you had to delete it if you used it for college since this is gonna be a little different. Um, so you have to re-download it off the website. It's a pretty simple process. Um, once you download it, you have to take a mock exam. Uh, once you download it, there's already three exams on there. Two of them are actually used for the essay portions, part one and part two on the first day of the bar exam. And there's a mock exam, which they want you to run through um, beforehand to make sure that everything is working perfectly fine and you're already very like familiar with the options and the controls and everything so you don't really experience it for the first time on the bar exam. Um, so it's pretty basic. It's essentially the same exact functions if you've already used Exemplify. If you haven't, then it just runs through like underlining stuff, bolding stuff, um, how to skip back and forth between questions and whatnot. So it's a very simple process. Um, I'm sure anybody could handle it. Now let's move on to what it's like to actually sit for the California bar. It's obviously the hardest bar exam in the US. So you go in with a chip on your shoulder because you don't know what's exactly gonna happen. Um, the last February, the bar exam pass rate was 38% or around there basically. And the year before that, it was around 27%, which was the lowest California bar exam pass rate in 51 years. So going into the bar exam this year was a little scary um, as it would be for any bar exam really, but especially um, California bar takers, um, especially knowing that 
the pass rate is not that great, especially for the last two Februarys. Um, the pass rate for last July was a bit higher, but as you know, um, the state bar infamously released the test questions, which was one of the reasons that it most likely was higher than usual. Um, but yeah, anyways, so basically sitting for the bar, um, it actually was surprisingly underwhelming. Um, I'm sure a lot of people were more nervous than I was. Um, I saw a lot of people with stress on their face and a lot of people were actually studying right before the exam. And I definitely don't recommend that personally. Um, I think you should feel confident in um, your own shoes at that point and where you're at. Um, I don't think you should wait until like the last minutes to run through stuff. Maybe if it's like last minute review, then that's fine. But don't actually try to cram to the last minute or anything like that. Um, once I got into the room, it was interesting. There was actually a lot more students taking the bar exam than I would have originally anticipated, especially since it is February. So a lot of people are retakers and not um, first time takers. Um, especially compared to July where there's like a huge bulk of people, especially um, those who have just graduated. So that was that, I found my seat. It really isn't too difficult to find your seat. They make it pretty easy. They have signs set up and you just match your application ID to where your seat is. So I should probably mention that I took it at the Oakland Convention Center, which I believe is where they have held it at um, for several years. So if you're in the Bay, you probably are gonna take it there, most likely. Um, so the convention center is actually connected to the Marriott Hotel. So um, we're basically in the same place as like the hotel. So if you decide to stay in the hotel, then it's very convenient since you could literally just go downstairs and the bar exam is gonna be waiting for you. Um, I personally did not stay there. I actually live around like 30 minutes away from the Marriott in Oakland. So I decided to just stay at home. But if you want to actually get away and be like in the mindset of taking the bar exam, then I highly recommend um, staying at a hotel nearby or even the Marriott um, since it will be very simple. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. It's pretty underwhelming. I, I thought it was going to be a huge monster. Obviously, it's like playing in the back of your mind that you might not pass and, you know, the pass rate is low and all of this. And obviously, you're taking the biggest exam of your life. So I wouldn't say nothing is like bothering you, but I don't think it's as serious as you would think. It's actually kind of like calm. It's everything you work for at that point, especially like suffering through bar study. Um, so we went through months of work and you're like finally in the chair taking the bar exam. So it's very surreal to say the least. Um, I wouldn't say anything about it being crazy. Um, but yeah, it's definitely an important part in your life, obviously. Um, so at least how in Oakland, how they did it was they had plastic folding tables, kind of like the ones you see at parties and at each table there was two students and there was like about, I'd probably say about two feet of space in between each student. Um, so there was plenty of space and it wasn't feeling congested even though there was so many um, people taking the bar exam. Um, so yeah, and then they actually have a cable strip running alongside the tables, like underneath the tables. So um, for laptop days or the first day of the essay portion, it's very easy to charge a laptop, a lot of people did. Um, in the instructions, actually does not say that laptop charge is allowed. Um, for whatever reason, it gives you a list of accessories that are allowed for laptops, and laptop chargers are not on that list. But definitely believe that you can bring your laptop chargers. I actually had to ask the state bar for that. I'm sure they got tired of me asking questions all the time, but I asked them and they um, assured me that we would have um, accessibility to outlets and would be able to charge our laptops throughout the exam. Um, I know a lot of people have old laptops, so maybe the battery does not last very long. And um, as you probably know, the essay portion of the exam is six and a half hours. And this does not include like the instruction time and all, all of that good stuff. So your battery does have to last a while, um, but luckily they have the outlets. So you could always keep in charge. Um, 
so yeah outside of that the setup was essentially about five tables to the left five tables in the center and five tables to the right and this ran from like the front of the building all the way to the back or i should say of the room um so there was definitely a lot of tables um and it was fairly congested but you know there was plenty of space to work you would have like all your stuff laid out on your table and it definitely would not bother the person next to you since there was plenty of room to work with um outside of that i think the experience was pretty normal um of what you would expect i know different states do it differently um i'm sure they do it pretty differently at different locations within california as well but this was how um, it was set up in Oakland. Um, obviously, I can't provide any pictures or anything like that since we're not allowed to bring our phones inside, which is something else I would want to note. You probably should not bring all of that into the test center. Um, a lot of people brought backpacks and stuff. Uh, you could always throw your backpacks against the wall. A lot of people did, but as you probably know, like the state bar is not gonna be liable for anything you leave outside. So there's definitely a place you could have them if you do bring them inside. Um, especially if you want to do last minute studying, maybe you want to um, bring along study guides or something of that nature and then like toss them to the side once you um, it's time for you to enter the room. But just remember that they're not going to be liable for it. So something to keep in mind. Um, and yeah, I think that is about it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe. And I'll be making more videos, um, maybe more on the bar exam or I think I'll make more videos on bar study, maybe even law school if you guys would be interested and we'll see what happens from there. Thank you guys.